understanding iShook and its platform. And the presentation at this moment will be knowing the virtual economy and how it relates to content developers and writers. So to begin, we have four major platforms and apps that are existing today with iShook. We have our iShook ebook platform, which is called iShook app. It's available in that for download in the iOS Apple Store. We have our YChat, which is our messaging app platform in order for authors to connect with their followers and followers with their authors and also interconnectivity between users. We have what we call iShook Daily, which is our daily blogging app uh, platform, which is integrated into the iShook app. We also have an iShook store, e-commerce store for books and items, but that is not a discussion for today, but it is a future presentation that will be set out in the near future. So to begin, to understand the platform itself and what it does. We have Facebook, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Messenger. And you have other means of advertisement and connectivity to users in general. So what ends up happening today, the means of communication is directly through these platforms. As we will state in statistical reports, and as we will provide in the general scheme and how people interconnect with each other. Today, social media is the means of connectivity more than any other place uh, that exists today. Google as well is the means of website and content connectivity. But in every aspect, Facebook, Google, and YouTube, you're never going to find a concise and condensed platform that puts one traffic of content for authors and writers. And that's where iShook comes in. iShook integrates these social media, these social media means into its platform. So iShook.com happens to be the centralized system where we're able to connect through social media for the publishers, the author and distributor and others. So publishers and authors and distributors can submit their work through the iShook platform. We in turn take that work and we promote it through all the social media platforms that exist. Facebook, again, Google, and YouTube. So we have the budget for you for your actual books to be presented. One of the biggest programs we're going to lay out in the next discussion will be the layout and expressing how a person can make up to $2,000 with iShook just to sign up with iShook with their content, of course, in hand. So the ultimate purpose of this is now you're con consolidating a one means aspect and one means central hub for all content. And that is what consumers and users are, are truly looking for. They're looking for one section where they can get all their content and the people who generate this content into, the pl into one platform, as opposed to going to Facebook, doing, going to a news blog, and getting all these fragmented co uh, content that it's spread out throughout the whole web. So we're gonna, bring in, we're gonna begin with a few statistical reports, because we're, we're here, this lecture is here to really to understand the economics that fall into a user. What is a user doing, and what is the user translated into dollars and cents? So knowing the user in the market, what is the total general app revenue per user? which is a key element in any aspect you're doing with e-commerce, whether you're doing it with e-books, or whether you're trying to succeed in the great world of the internet. The next is what are the most popular categories in the app store? So when a person goes to a store, what is the top shelf sections? So to relate with a retail store, an app store is gonna give you the categories just like a top shelf se section. What is the things that are gonna, what are the products that sell fast? So when you go to Barnes and Nobles, for example, you're gonna see the best sellers in the front of the room. That's what the top categories really tell you. What are the best sellers in regards to media and virtual media as well? So the next one is which category has the greatest market reach? Market reach is one of the most important things and aspects of the mobile market. Which product is really reaching out to the user? The next one will be which app has the greatest pen penetration? So you have many apps in the App Store, specifically with Apple iOS. Because the Apple iOS, and the reason why we chose to develop an Apple iOS first, as opposed to the, uh, the Android platform, the iOS Apple platform actually generates and gives returns larger than the Google Play. 
Google Play has more sales, but in respect to market sharing and paying out their content developers, Apple has the highest rate compared to Android. So that's why we decided to focus in the past two, three years developing specifically for iOS. Second of all, the reason why we developed for iOS is because iOS's platform happens to be highly secure compared to the, Adobe, the, the Android platform. The iOS platform right now, Apple has released a requirement for all apps developed in Apple iOS to uh, retain AE, uh, AES encryption, 25 encryption key, and on top, the, top of that HTTPS encryptions as well. So that's a requirement that would have been rolled out this January, but they extended it for another six months. And that is very important for DRMing. This, you cannot get better than DRMing than what we have. So the AES encryption, no ebook can be opened without our Apple, without our app in iShook, which is very important for the security and the content uh, copyright of the, of, of the authors. Next, what are the book categories? So before we introduce the statistical reports, we have to understand the categories listed in iOS happen to be very different and very differential. The categories, you can have a book category, but a book category can be a coloring book for kids. A book category can be a comic book. A book category can be, can be any type of interactive ebook that's being created. And what ends up happening is the ebook platforms are also categories. In the book, are also types of apps in the book category. So what you end up having is an ebook platform can have 3 million, 2 million ebooks, but there's only one app in that category. So you're not getting the real penetration into the category market for books if you're an author. It's not getting there. So you're already disfranchised when it comes to the iOS book category system. You need a person and a player who's going to actually promote his ebook platform and get you out there. And then that takes the second step of actually getting your ebook into the sales market. So first we're going to show, I hope this, you can see it, right? Yeah. So first we're going to show the worldwide mobile app revenues of 2015, 2016, 2020. So there's a famous company called App Annie. And App Annie itself pro, uh, produces these, these, inform this, uh, these informations. So App Annie forecasts by 2020 the global mobile revenue within, uh, within in-app advertising and app store revenue will be about $188 billion. That is the 2020 projection by App Annie. So App Annie also projects in 2016, $88 billion. Today, as of 2015, App Annie has produced and shown revenue of $69 billion. That means in reality, what's happening is within the next five years, App Annie projects a three time growth in revenue of advertisement and sales of apps. So next, most popular app in the App Store, again, all in iOS categories of December 16, which means what are the most shared apps? So if I download an app, which app is the most shared app? So we understand the rate of sharing is not necessarily 100%, it's at its 30% mark out of what 100% could be. So the most shared app is obviously games. Games are always gonna be the most shared. But now what it comes down to it, business, education, lifestyle, entertainment, utilities, travel, now the book category is only at a 3% sharing rate. That's what Statista reports. 3% is very low for a share market that I'm gonna have my ebook app being shared. So that already shows that we're not able to share through the app store. So what ends up happening is our share capacity has to be done through other means. And we're gonna show now the penetration where the other means are found. They're not found in the app store, so where are they? So the market reach of the most popular category in the Apple iOS worldwide this data is based on 78,949 mobile devices, including tablets. So in all these devices, they found these key elements, utilities, social networking, photo and video, games, lifestyle, entertainment, music, productivity, news, book, and reference. So we wanna focus on news, book, and reference because that ends up coming to the literary content market. So this literally content market has a penetration and reach of the market reach of about close to 
42 to 48%. So these market reach in this industry is very low compared to social networking. So that means all these apps had book category apps, they had had productivity apps, they had had news apps, they had reference apps, they have had travel apps, all in these categories, but they're not reaching more than 38, more than 50% in the worldwide industry. Now, in coming, when it comes to the U.S. market, the market reach of the most popular app category in the U.S. in the U.S. market, based on that of 11,155 mobile devices, including tablets. Again, this is from the U.S. reporting of the U.S. And it shows that utilities, photo, and video, now social networking, is at 92%. Most people had 92% of social networking apps in their phones. Book happens to be in the U.S. at 62%, which probably makes sense because literally, you know, people read more in the U.S. And, uh, you know, most, most, most people can read in the U.S. compared to a maybe third world country. So the world, you know, the global market might be less when it comes to what's retained in the phone. So the reality is the book app, is something that most people will have in the US, 62%, again, in the category. Now, why is this market category very important? To show you that the way to get into a person's mobile device is not necessarily through the App Store. And this makes a lot of sense because Apple had actually killed off, they had discontinued their ad marketing service in Apple. So the iAds had been completely abolished through Apple. And what did they, did they do now? They reinvented the App Store as of this past iOS update. The reason why they reinvented this new way of marketing the iOS apps is because they wanted to get rid of the apps that didn't really conform to their new system in order to bring in a new forefront of apps that actually work and are active. So Apple really has a high standard on what they want from their apps as opposed to, let's say, Google Play and Android. Now, we're not referring to Android as Google Play only. We cannot compare to Shishimi and all these other companies in South Asia and in Asia itself where they're creating their own Android type of platform. And those platforms actually have a lot of success compared to the Android standard platform. But that's in another type. Another time we'll discuss that point. So the global book category is at 45%. U.S. book category is at 62%. And the app share is only 3% of those categories. So user penetration in the mobile market are key factors in terming discoverability. As we can see from the previous stats, penetration on book apps are close to 62% in the U.S. So as a book app, iShook today's app, iShook app, has a potential penetration of 62%. But there is one thing they're not reporting, and that's sharing on social media. If I share my app on social media, that 62% can become 100% depending how you market, how you present it on Twitter, on social media venues, and on YouTube. The market reach of most popular apps in the iOS, and this is where we're getting to the, nit, the, the real meat of this situation. YouTube, Facebook, Pandora, Instagram, iBooks. Now iBooks, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't make sense because iBooks is always on your phone. You're not downloading it, it's there. It's not a downloadable feature. It's automatically there when you purchase the iPhone. So the penetration of iBooks is not necessarily, you know, uh, it's just my opinion at that point. But it is there. Netflix, Twitter, Messenger, Skype for iPhone, Snapchat, Pinterest happens to be at the end. So, but you see YouTube and Facebook, it's what actually is being used by the user. They're using Facebook, they're using YouTube, they're using Instagram. So these are key elements for market reach as a user. And as an author, you want to be able to get your book in those apps because that's what most people are actually viewing day to day. The market reach of the most popular retail app is eBay, Groupon, and the Apple Store. So the reason why we're bringing this is very important. People don't realize that the actual percentage of reach is only 16%. So if you're thinking you're going to be able to sell mobile hard copy books through your Amazon account, it's gonna be very difficult because guess what? Amazon is only at 3% of market reach in a mobile device. I don't have the statistical report here, but in statista.com, and then we can also put it up on our website, over 50% of people use mobile devices from actual desktop devices. That is of now. People are not using the desktop as, it, as they used to use it. So when people are going through a mobile, you're not gonna have them actually purchase a book through their app or through their tablet. 
It's just not gonna happen through their mobile app or their mobile tablet. And then again, this data is based on 11,000 uh, devices. Next, where is your ebook? So your ebook is essentially back into those platforms. It's into an iShook platform, it's an iBook platform. You know, we're gonna shout out Overdrive, we're gonna shout out the Rakuten, it's gonna be in Kobo Rakuten, it's gonna be in all these platforms. But how do you get your book discovered? Because if it's difficult to get the app discovered, how's your actual ebook being discovered? So this is the most important points that we have here. Most popular smartphone apps in the United States and 20 free ranked by average unique monthly users are Facebook, YouTube, Facebook Messenger, and Google Search. So you as an author, you wanna be present in these three major aspects. You wanna be present in Facebook, you wanna be present in YouTube, and you wanna be present in Google Search, which is a key element for success in sales. Without being present in these three venues, you're most likely not gonna be discovered the way you deserve to be discovered. So in reality, 126 million users monthly on Facebook, 97 million monthly in YouTube, and 95 million in Google search engines. So these are active users constantly. We're not talking about users that are constantly coming in and out. We're talking about active, sustainable users. So again, in July 2016, the increase you see is about two to 3%. Now it's 149 in Facebook, and so on and so forth. Now again, this is August 2016. And you see the percentage wise, 80% of users are actually being mobile. Percentage of the time spent on mobile web and apps on connected devices in the United States from 2013 to 2015. We feel that this is a very crucial element for authors to fully understand. Because if they cannot comprehend that this is what's happening, it'll be very hard to target their eBooks or their content to the mass world that's out there. 80% of time spent in the quarter of, 20, of 2013 was on apps in the, alone, not mobile web. So if you're creating your mobile web, it's not gonna get the same retention as you will get through an app. 86% quarter, se second quarter of 2014. 90% second quarter of 2015. So as the years go by, the web, mobile web searching and usage has dropped compared to the actual the actual app usages, which I think, which is very important. So number of mobile app hours per smartphone and tablet, 93 hours per month per user per tablet from the ages of 18 to 24. As you go down, obviously, the age of 65, 42.1 hours a month. But this not necessarily will be steady stats. It can actually be, as the generations grow, those 18 and 24 year olds will become 65 year olds and their habits might still continue. So there's no, there's no data stating that that will not continue in that way. So most frequently used type of smartphones and tablet apps in the United States of November 2015, social media, weather, browser, games, streaming music, banking, navigation, retail shopping, streaming video, messaging, photo video, sports, mobile payment. Guess what? Reading is not in there. It's just not in there. That means your target niche is not through iBooks. It's not through an, it's not even through just an ebook platform. It's becoming social. Your ebook has to become an engine for social media. It has to be out in the scheme of all the Facebook messengers, all the Facebooks, the WhatsApps, and all those types of apps. They gotta be there. You gotta be in front of people's faces to get your content out there. So reason for smartphone use in the United States to leave mobile apps of August 2015. We feel this is a crucial stat for us to show you because this stat will tell you that 40% of people will switch to an iShook app if they feel that it's a better app. So you have a potential 40% of close to a billion users in the iOS platform will switch, will potentially switch to an iOS iShook app than before wanted. So they will switch to an iShook app if they feel that the iShook app is a better app for them. So I found better apps to replace them. So if they find a better app to replace their current reading app, they will switch over to that current reading app. User in the publishing market. There's approximately by 2021, 99.6 million users in the e-publishing market as a total. And the e-book market is 88.4 million users. 
In the e-magazine market, it's about 40.2 million users, and the e-papers, 31 million users. This is a very crucial stat, and the fact is, now you know the potential of how many users actually can be on iShook. iShook can really retain 99.6 million users, because that's our target niche, to get those 99.6 million users engaging in the iShook. Again, that's only engagements with the ebook platform. We still have other types of engagements with iShook, and one of the engagements is a messenger app that we have, and many people like to use the messenger app. So we're basically biting off every type of user out there to getting them to the end result of actually reading in iShook. And that's what we really want. We want every type of user to actually read. So if we, ha we, we invested many funds in TapJoy. TapJoy is a mobile investment app for mobile acquisitions of users. And with our mobile investment, we got over 20,000 current users in our iShook app. Now, those app users are not reading users. They are users from the gaming industry. And yet they still signed up, filled up information, and downloaded ebooks. And we see from here that the gamers, because they're so much retained in gaming, it's not that they're not willing to read an, a book or willing to go into an ebook app. It's just that they're not spending the time to go there. So if they can be discovered and how to get to that position of actually reading or getting to it, they'll do it. So the revenue in e-publishing market is about $8.689 billion. So with e-books combined with e-magazine and e-paper, this market is about $8.6 billion. Therefore, we, the market share of, a, of an author, he can get his pub books published. He can eat from that pie that is available to him. Question is, do people really know what he has? A person can have a great book, but do people actually know what it exists? So the way to know how to exist is only by means today is social media. It's very hard for them to get to that position. So the average revenue per user, the average revenue per user is $87. That means the 20,000 users that we have currently, you have potential $87 per user to sell your ebook. So having that potential is very strong that you can deliver that number for yourself. But if you're not presenting yourself to the market, then how will, again, they know that you exist? In the next segment of the lecture, we'll show in detail how a person through the iShook app and through the iShook.com website can actually get the discoverability out there and get himself well-known. We'll also show you our investments through Facebook pages and show you how we will, are willing to invest as a company in order for all authors to be, not become disfranchised and actually get their books out there. So then we have use, 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 uh, user by age groups in the publishing market. You can see the stat here from 2015 to 2021. 20, Obviously, it will diminish because, as we know, people don't live forever, right? So, <laughs> so it's going to diminish. They're not going to always be there. And then you have user by age groups, gender, in the publishing market. There's no question that women read more than men, as the stats show. And then we've come back to the final point. The iShook platform tackles the, final, fi fi the following demographics. Without this iShook platform, it really makes it difficult for an author to actually connect to all, these to all these social media means. And in order to connect to these social media means, he needs to have the tools to connect. But you cannot have an author required to spend thousands of dollars to get to the position of having his book sell and maybe he'll make the $300. So what we did here, we created a system where we spend that money and they're just working in collaboration with us. So basically they can like us on Facebook, we will like them on Facebook, and we will promote and pre-purchase their apps, their eBooks within our iShook app in advance. Therefore, in order to create more engagement, and there's many features, features that we have, for example, if a person purchases your eBook, he, you automatically follow that author. So you as an author have a connect, direct connectivity with our, cert, with our messaging app to talk to those followers. And we feel that that is the key element in order to succeed in the global market.